Okay, so these are three um, different exercises involving rolls. Technically, they're the same exercise. They all use the same sticking of right, left, right, left, right, left. Um, all we're doing is we're moving up the notes of three different scales, which respectively are C major, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Okay? Now we're going to play what we call the relative minor. This is a scale that's the same notes as the C major scale I just played, but we're starting on the sixth note of C major. So we're going to do this same collection of notes, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, but we're going to start on the sixth note, one, two, three, four, five, six of C major. One, two, three, four, five, six. So again, same collection of notes, but starting on A. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Or A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. If I play these together, I'm going to play the scale I just played, the A natural minor, the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. In the left hand, I'm going to play the C major in the right hand, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. You'll notice that they harmonize well together. They sound good together. And the reason is, it's the same collection of notes. Nothing's changed. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to practice those two scales um, as well as the third one. That A natural minor, the A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A. Great. We're only going to make one change. Instead of a G, we're going to play a G sharp. So this A natural minor of A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A becomes A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp, A. So again, the three scales, all using the same sticking of right, left, right, left, are C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, A natural minor, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, and A harmonic minor, A, B, C, D, E, F, G sharp, A. Also, be sure when you're practicing these to start with the left hand, so not just always leading with the right hand, but also be able to play the same scale, leading with the left hand, left, right, left, right, in addition to right, left, right, left, and go up and down when you get comfortable. A natural minor. And finally, A harmonic minor. Now that's all fine and good until we have to roll. Remember those time scales we talked about? One, two, three, four. One and two and those are eighth notes. Now triplets. One and a two and a three and a now sixteenths. One e and a two e and a three sextuplets. And see if I can even say it this fast. Thirty second notes. Which basically for the quarters is just right with the beat. Eighths is two in the space of one beat. Eighth note triplets are three in the space of one beat. Sixteenths are four in the space of one beat. Sextuplets are six. And then finally 30 seconds, which are eight in the space of one beat. To get better at rolling, especially a piece where you have to change notes while you're rolling, take those three scales we covered and just starting on your right hand or your left hand, alternating right, left, right, left, or left, right, left, right, go up the scale and practice increasing the speed. Start with eighths. Rest. Now triplets. Same tempo. Same scale, just different rhythm. Now we're going to do sixteenths. Here we go. Start slow enough that you can go through all the subdivisions. Rest. Sextuplets. Now. Notice how I'm also staying relaxed, I'm not using my arms, I'm playing through my wrists, and I'm keeping that same fluid motion. And then finally, 30 second notes, or 8 per beat. Same tempo, same scale. 1, 2, 3, 4. Right? And then you do that for all the scales, so... So on and so forth, gradually increase the tempo. 30 second notes, so on and so forth. And practice these exercises when you get comfortable enough. Do ascending and descending. 